In this video, I am going to show you how can you query a given CSV file using OpenAI. And to be specific, here we will be using OpenAI, TikToken, NumPy, Pandas, and Python as a programming language. So let's get started. So we, first of all, I will show you the input file which we are using. So this is the data set which I have directly pulled it from the Kaggle and I have shrinked it a bit in order to reduce its size. So here you can see it is having the details about the show, shows and the movies with some description, release year, popularity score and all this. So this is the data set which we are taking as an input today and we are expecting to get answers out of this data set. So let's go ahead and import required packages here. Here I have already uh, like uh, defined my OpenAI key in the configuration file. So I am just calling it over here. Then what we are doing is we are going to get the encoding which is based on this particular encoding type. Here I am reading my CSV file and dropping all the empty ones or any fields. And then I am saying create the data frame with these titles. So these are the columns which I am considering and then I am constructing a summarized column which is nothing but the information from all these columns. And at the last we are just saying get me the tokens res uh, with respect to every single row and that's the reason we are defining here encoding. Let me quickly run this and show you just uh, two rows so that you can understand what we are trying to do. So these are uh, for the first one is the index and these are the columns which we have taken it from our CSV file. This is the one which we just constructed in above step and the column token. So 39 tokens are used for this particular thing. Again 35 for this second row. So this is how we are constructing. So further if we need we can put a check on the tokens or we can decide that whether we need to divide this particular data into multiple rows or whatever decisions we want to take. Okay, so once this is done, next thing we are going to calculate the embedding for the given text. So for cam calculate the embedding, we are using OpenAI embedding create endpoint, which is using text era, text embedding era 002 as the embedding mode. And this function will give me the result of the encoding. So once the encoding is uh, done, this function is giving you the encoding only for the one row. So here I am saying do the same thing for my entire data frame. So that's the reason data frame is my parameter here and I'm doing this on the summarized field. So let me quickly go ahead and show you what we are trying to do here. Oops, so I need to run this. Let me run this first. Okay, and get data frame. And it will show us like how the embedding looks like. So this is the embedding which got generated and zero means it is for zero through. This is the embedding. Similarly for first row we will have the embedding. So this is just the gist of how it looks like. Once the embeddings are generated we need to go ahead and figure it out the similarity. So for similarity we are going to do the uh, dot product. So this particular code, uh, I have just tweaked it a bit, but you can definitely find in OpenAI code base also. So once the dot product is calculated, what we are saying, get me the all the documents which are matching with my query. So this particular function is taking two parameters, query and the embedding. So query is the query provided by the user and DF embedding is the one which we just generated above. It will take both of these things and calculate the vector similarity and whatever the response is it will just return you in like reverse order wherein the most similar ones or the close one will come first. So this thing I am going to call on this particular query and I am saying which movie uh, talks about magical world. So According to this data and the embedding, these are the three embeddings which are very close. It means these are the three rows which are very close to this particular question. And it is giving me three because here I have mentioned it as three. And if you are not mentioning any, anything, then it will get you all the matching ones or all the rows which it has used to traverse your results. So once this is done, we need to construct the prompt. So magic here is how you are constructing the prompt. So for constructing the prompt, we need a few different things so you need not to worry about that code that is again ready-made available on this open AI like I would say documentation as well as in the cookbook 
so i pulled it but and changed it according to my need so what we are doing here is we are saying get me take this as an input and construct the prompt so for prompt we are saying use this particular matching data whatever we are generating over here take this as an input append it with the question which is asked by the user and then provide me the response so this is the overall thing this particular line these lines are doing and then i have constructed an another one so this is again straightforward it is saying get me the answer based on the prompt and use the completion endpoint with text davinci so let me quickly run this and show you so here i'm saying get me top two most popular movies and what it is taking it is taking the query it is taking the data frame and it is taking the embeddings for the entire data frame so here you can see the output is the wizard of oz and gone with the wind so I, if i will show you uh, let me quickly open up that csv file so this is my csv file and you can see that the two movies which are having the highest popularity score is this one which is the wizard of wizard of oz and the next one is and after 56 we can see the seventh row so these two are the movies which are having the highest popularity and that's the reason we are getting the names of these two movie titles in our response so i hope you understood the concept and what we are trying to achieve here so it's kind of very easy and if your csv file is too huge or the like the area line which is having many number of tokens then i would suggest you to break it down into multiple rows and that would work for you i hope you enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching